So obviously the rear seats, that's a whole other deal. That's gonna be another day, but the front, oh, that's what we're working with. Now, driver's seat completely destroyed. These are sport seats, bolsters work, completely destroyed. So we're gonna go red, because that's basically better in every way. Well, we're going at this with absolutely no wiring diagrams. Uh, so basically what we're doing is trying to convert the F30 seats to the E90 plugs. So we went ahead and de-pinned absolutely everything, took lots of pictures and wrote our own little uh, wiring diagram. And then because again, no wiring diagram, I didn't want to confuse the buckles. So I just unbolted those, pulled the wires out and swapped them between the seats. So. As far as it goes now, we didn't want to basically plug things in if I didn't know where they were going. So this is the only wire I wasn't confident on. So we basically <laughs> slid the pins back in where they should have gone. You basically have to remove this tab and you can slide each of these plugs out and then repin them from there. And basically put them back where I got them from. Slid them all back where they were. They have little arrows on the actual cartridges. Leaving this one out till I confirm I know what it is and get a wiring diagram. But for now, we have our plugs in using the E90 harness. And, key's not in, right on. Putting the key in. We do have power and adjustments, so this is actually usable. I don't know if I have bolsters or heated seats as of yet, but that is the F30 seat module. F30 wires, didn't swap anything on the seat itself, just the plug here and did some uh, repinning. So, yeah, it's both these in. Now I gotta do the passenger side and basically repin it and then uh, do some wiring diagram looking and clean up these poor seats and I have a red interior. I have red front seats at least, but that's a start. Should mention again, that was the driver's side plug and then as far as the seat belts go, we have our E90 sitting in here like this, nice and clean as it should be. Gross. Put on our bolt, our rear two bolts, and then we're basically set. So, it's coming along not too bad considering I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're in the middle of getting the front seat sorted out. Perfect time, not even done that project. We'll start the next one, which is the rear seats. Bam. So once again, these are from an F30, new gen. This is an E90, old. Will they fit? I have no idea. She's currently running an extension cord out to run a heater to the car. Because this project's probably going to take a few hours. And summer is gone. The plan is to remove the sides, rear, and then figure out the bottoms. Nope. The sides, bottoms, and figure out the rear. And then just start piecing things in and see how it goes, I guess. And if not, this is my daily and I have to drive it to work with no rear seats. And it'll probably be much louder, so... Fingers crossed on this one. So I guess our heater's died, huh? It's good. It's pretty cold out. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little more obvious now uh, that clearly the back window was blown out. Considering when I bought it, that was the only window not tinted. 
It's a very cheap window, so it's very distorted in the middle. And it has dents on each side, so I'm curious what happened. I guess most importantly, they also pinched the defroster ribbon cable inside of the urethane that they used to set the window in, so... I'm glad I overpaid for this vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, rear seats are out. Uh, this thing blew my tiny brain. Still don't know how it works, but there's a rod that goes through and it kicks my ass, but it's out. So... So this is the old black interior that's nice new red interior um, E90 F30 so what could possibly go wrong basically we're gonna struggle to put the rears in first see what happens there see how the fitment is find out if these actually even clip in the same way I don't think they do and then go from there and find out whether or not I had a good purchase or not so backs first toss them in see what happens also, for the record, this is going to get a good vacuuming. I'm just going to test fit first because I'll be upset if if it doesn't fit. And I put everything back together. So, we're going to make sure it works before I vacuum. Yep. Yeah. Those are the words. <laughs> okay. The power of editing. <laughs> Okay, so going into this blind, super difficult. Now, knowing what I know, super not difficult, but we're also not done, but super not bad. So, seats are latched. Oh, that's gonna take me another 20 minutes to figure out, but seats are latched, so that's cool. They're in the back, probably the most difficult part. Yeah. <laughs> so, I brought a drill out. We were ready to drill things. I had hammers and pry bars, ready to hammer and pry bar things. Get out of here, go away, shoo. As you can see, drill. But we come up here to our latches and, oh. wow. <laughs> My seats do seat things. Now they are a little stiff, I, I will have to, you know, oh, that doesn't look happy. Probably have some adjustments to do, but they do work. They fold down, everything's working out. Not easy with one hand. So what we had to do is there was a plastic trim piece on the back here that didn't allow the seats to actually latch fully, so we just took that off. And now it looks like this, but now my seats latch, so. Woo! Look at that latch in action. So, basically, um, I guess put the bottom in first, which should slide in, then clip into that, and then we gotta feed all these seat belts through, and then Worry about these, if these are going to work or not. I don't even know where they clip in, honestly. But we're almost there, difficult part's over. And then we should be done our red interior swap, other than wiring. Yeah, it's getting colder, so I'm going to hurry this one up. <laughs> We're done, that's it. So as far as it goes, let me zoom out here. So um, these panels only have the center clip up here holding them in. And then it has a little metal piece on the side that guides it. And then there's one in here that's just totally useless on the E90. So only two out of three clips are actually holding these side bolsters in, but haven't had any issues. They sit pretty nice. Ugh. Other than that, the bottom seats clip right into the existing spots. 
The rear is take some convincing and for the latch on the passenger side where I am, I did have to loosen it off and shift it over a bit, but that latches perfectly. And then as far as everything goes, we now have cup holders, previous owner left, disgusting tissues, so we're gonna close that and forget about it. And then the seat does flip down as well, so we still have access to the trunk. There's not a single modification I did on this that is irreversible. I it, they, it, they bolt right in. There's nothing else to it. Seat belts were a pain to basically fit back through, but no drilling, nothing required. Just remove that upper plastic trim piece up here and we're basically set. So I got a red interior now. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I just, oh, I just love the back end of this thing. So, woo, she's looking so good now. Oh, I'm so happy with this. So, rear seats looking really good. We have a little bit of uh, indents. We're gonna have to heat and rub out, make those look nice. Uh, basically, let the seats settle, do a nice uh, leather clean, make them smell nice, and then uh, basically set. So, it is pretty cold today. I can't feel my fingers, but it was totally worth it. As far as the rear seats go, probably the easiest swap. I don't think there's anything to gain just by swapping the rear seats from an F30. There's really not a whole lot of difference, especially for the amount of work this was. But for about two hours of figuring it out myself, I couldn't be happier for something that I'm never going to use because I never sit in the back seat. But I'm glad everyone else can enjoy it. But it looks absolutely gorgeous, especially with the front seat. So great project today. I'm going to go warm up. Thank you guys for watching and catch you in the next one.